I've never done this before. You see me, my hair is still wrapped. I'm like kind of chilling. And um, I just wanted to get on here because why not? I'm at home. Um, I'm just kind of editing some stuff on the computer and trying to get ready because I'm about to go out. So um, I said, let me answer this question that I saw. So uh, the question was asked if you can work without first getting your C. And so if you don't already know, um, there is a new platform that we started called Get That C University. So go check it out at getthatcuniversity.com. And subscribe to my channel, you guys, because you're going to get great content on here. And I'm going to start really doing some more of these like impromptu kind of weekly check ins with you guys because I have the time to do so. Um, apart from, you know, me doing like the homeschool thing with my kids, I do have some time within the day to do that. But anyways, um, back to the question. It was asked uh, if you can work without first getting your C, meaning can you work as a PA without being certified and I mean like the long and short of it is yes and no right so can you work yeah like there are places that will allow you to work but do you really want to work at a place that allows you to work when you're not even certified to work there um, because that's really what it is like if something were to happen while you were waiting for your certification to come through or while you were just a PA meaning that you graduated from physician assistant school, but you have not yet passed your boards, um, and let's say, I don't know, something detrimental happened or something bad happened, whatever the case may be, and the person now comes to sue you and says, well, they weren't even certified to provide the care that they were trying to provide for me, you're in trouble, right? Like, that's a problem. So, um, yes, you can work. Like, you can do a lot of things that you shouldn't be doing that you're not supposed to do, but um, when it comes to getting your C first, like this is not one of the places that you want to do that, honestly. You really and truly, you want to make sure that at the end of the day, like you have all your ducks in a row, like and everything is how it should be. So when it comes down to it, no, you should not be working without first having your C. Um, and I know like that's kind of confusing for people because we just kind of use the acronym or like the two letters PA to describe a physician assistant, um, even if you're certified or not. But I do want to make it very clear that once you graduate from PA school, you are a PA, right? So you can practice as a PA once you get certified, not once you graduate. So just having the title doesn't mean that you are um, credentialed or certified to provide the care that you, you may be doing or may be asked to be doing. And it's the same thing like being an MD, right? So you go to med school, once you graduate med school, you're a doctor. There are many people that graduated med school and are doctors, but they haven't like passed the necessary board exams to actually say like, okay, I can now practice or gone into a residency to like hone those skills and become, you know, um, an emergency medicine physician or a surgeon or whatever the case may be. So just having the title because you've gotten the schooling doesn't mean that you can actually perform the skills or are certified or um, not necessarily qualified, but warranted in providing those skills. So that's really the answer to that question. I mean, I don't know what else you may want to know about that, but I talked about the certification process. It can be a fairly, you know, it's pretty quick once you pass your boards you get certified, you know, once you pay your funds and stuff, that's all inclusive. But when it comes to actually like being credentialed to work in a hospital or in an office, that's like a whole nother ballgame in and of itself. But just really quick answer for you guys. I'm like in my room just trying to like get myself together. I got to like do my eyebrows and stuff, like make sure that that's together. But I hope you guys are doing good. Um, you know, it's almost time for Thanksgiving. So hopefully you guys are able to spend time with your immediate family and stay like, you know, safe you all, because we want to make sure that not only your family is safe, but other families out there. So please, um, you know, Thanksgive uh, responsibly. This is responsibly, right? Just like how they say drink responsibly, like thanks give responsibly. So, I mean, so please, you guys, like, 
thinks give or thinks giving responsibly, okay? Like, you know, make sure that you guys are taking the necessary precautions to ensure that um, not only your family is safe, but uh, the families that you may come in contact with um, at your job or something like that are also safe, okay? So I hope that you guys kind of got the answer from that question from this video. Um, leave some more comments and questions for me because I will not only make main videos like my Sunday videos about them, but some of these weekly videos I will try to do as well. All right. Um, if you haven't already done so, go on over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and follow GTCU on Instagram at Get That C University. Um, and go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Join, join the family. Come along. Join me on this journey. For those of you who've been like rocking with me from the beginning, like from the beginning, beginning, like a and a reacts beginning, I appreciate each and every one of you um, and all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Could it be here without you guys' support, you know, continuing on this YouTube journey? So thank you so much for it. I will talk to you guys next time.